Hi there, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this a lovely satellite fascinator that can be in Ankara or plain material. A lot of you have been contacting me to let me to ask how to make it and I have it in bits in my channel so we're joining it today. So the first step you how I prepared the bishop cap to make this fascinator. Can you see the bishop cap on the right hand side and left hand side sorry. Yes, that's what we used to make that part of the cap yeah this fascinator is lovely okay let's get to work so we're going to be making use of our hat wire our bishop cap now you can see how the bishop cap is very flexible nah so there's no way you can make use of this on the base of that fascinator then we're going to be making use of my lovely cutter and needle and thread so this is how we go about it we will take our bishop cap and First of all, we're losing our hat wire. You know, that's how the hat wire comes. Yeah, in a round pack like that. Okay, so we're going to take part of the hat wire and put at the edge of the bishop cap. And we're going to start sewing. Now, this can be done even for a molded cap. When you mold a cap, to ensure it doesn't lose its, um, its shape, you can sew that's if you mold it and it doesn't have the part to fold in that you can push in your hat wire what you do is this same process you just take your hat wire or millinery wire attach it to the rim of the cap and you begin to sew watch as i do it and learn Okay, so I leave a little bit space overlapping the other one and I use my lovely cutter and cut that side. So I'm going to overlap some. Can you see there's an overlap on the two um, edges of the wire? The millinery or hat wire. <laughs> Alright then, so I sew those two together like so. Next step is to cut your wire 48 inches and join them as I will be showing you right now. Your hat wire and thread, that's all you need. But you must make sure you, in fact, just watch, you must make, just please watch to the end of this, um, of this video so that you would get to know how you have to do it. But I will tell you in words right now before you get to the end. One, the thread must not overlap each other you're putting the thread next to the next thread you must also make sure that you wrap the tips where the two edges of the wire are you should wrap it once you do this oh it's going to come out smooth you won't see nobody will be able to tell where you joined your hat wire so keep watching to the end and learning thank you Please take note the Aliexpress and Amazon links of all the items used in making this Ankara satellite fascinator will be listed in the description of this video. Next step is to wrap the hat wire. Diving. What you will be needing is your hat wire 48 inches already joined together with thread. Then you will need your pieces of Ankara. Now the measurement of the Ankara used is 1.2 inches by 48 into 2. That's a total of 1.2 inches by 96 inches of length. So you sew this Ankara inside out and then turn it to the right side to form these lovely strips. Now all you need to do is take your Uhu gum put it on the hat wire and begin to wrap like this. Let's take a small break. 
okay if you are new to this beautiful lovely chawa channel sorry that empowers you to create well do subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss out on any of my videos thank you Please do remember that the Vent Crafts Academy is still ongoing. Yes, it's an ongoing process because you keep asking us to do more trainings outside of YouTube. So we keep on updating it. So if you want to know more on it, you click the link in the description. I'll put it there so you can get into the Vent Crafts Academy reception and get to know more. So here we are finishing it. And that's how you finish your Ankara lovely wrapped hat wire set to make that fantastic, unique, unique satellite fascinator. Next step is to make this lovely looking Ankara suite to attach to the Ankara satellite fascinator. Let's dive in now to see the materials we'll be making use of. The first is your piece of Ankara, measurement tape, skewer stick, bias, chuck, uhu gum, pad and earring or the shape of what you want to use, scissors and flour. The okay, next step to creating this fascinating fascinator is to take your um, object that forms the shape you want in my case is the earring and I use chalk to trace it on the pad so that's it so I'll take my scissors and cut this shape out watch and then comes our skewer sticks yes so I'm going to put it at the tip there but I'm not going to use the whole length I will Place it. So let me show you another trick. If you don't have the electric glue gun, you can make use of a candle. Yes, you light your candle and you place the candle glue on top or you use the um, on the knit of it. Anyway, I'll talk more about it in one of our videos on how to make use of candle. This is just another trick. So now that it's melted, I'm going to put it on that side like so and put it on top of my shape so i take my material the pieces of material now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut out the piece that i feel will cover up that shape then i will take my uhu gum you see i'm checking it it did cover it good so i'll take my uhu gum and put it at the back that's the um the back uh -huh, all the way in front also then i'll place it on my ankara piece and fold it like so when you're folding it you're going to make sure that you're still getting that shape or that you cut out ensure that you get that shape that you cut out so okay next step is to cut out this excess you can see on top so that's what I'm doing now I'll cut it straight down with my scissors yes that's how it is then I'll fold it in better can you see how it is then I'll take my bias now and I'm going to cover up that part from up then cover the skewer sticks as well using my uhu gum watch and learn if you're gaining value from this video please do click that like button the thumbs up just give me a thumbs up there thank you give me a thumbs up let's continue okay so you put the uhu gum also on the skewer sticks like so mm -hmm. then you're going to take the bias and wrap it round whatever color you want matching the ankara would suit better so that's what we're gonna do Then I'm trimming out the bias that is showing above the shape there. So I trim it out so it looks neat. Now you can actually leave it like this. It does still look good. But I decided to, you know, lift up the beauty, I believe, by putting in these flowers, the small flowers, just there. And then also in front below. Now let's put all together to form the Ankara Satellite Fascinator. Items needed now are measurement tape. We'll be needing Uhu gum, B6000, 
our elastic bishop cap then i have a straight scissors and my fantastic hot wire cutter then i'll be needing veil then my ankara material then pegs and my needle and thread the next step to make this fascinator is to glue our bishop Now if you noticed, I did, um, when I was gluing it, I did not south, east and west. Now that's to ensure that you're finished, um, when you're wrapping it, that it is smooth. You must do not south, east and west before you start filling up the gaps. And when you want to fill up the gaps, you grab the material together like so and push it in and then peg. Now remember from my last video, peg makes everything quicker and easy because you don't have to be waiting for the gum to glue before you move to the nest no you just do and later on you take off the pegs and you're set to go next step is to cut out the ss next step to making this fascinating fascinator is to take our wrapped hat wire and cover it with our net like so we're going to just wrap it up a bit so that it's straight watch and learn Next step to making this fascinating fascinator is to sew the net on the hot wire to the bishop cap like I'm doing. I'm going to be doing this all round. Next step to this fascinating fascinator is to cut out the net from inside after you have sewn it. then you line the top with bias to cover the sewings and now attach the alice band at the edges the corner of the fascinator then you line i line the inside with bias cut out four pieces of material measurement is five by ten inches then you're going to be sewing them on the long side on the wrong side once you're done you turn it the other way around and this is what we have so here i already have three done let's see how it's done this has been sewn and full and folded and turned right so i take my hard crinoline slim one the hard one and i fold it into two and push it into the sewn ankara this is what gives it the loop form makes it hard so i take it in like that then i cut it after i'm done i fold them together i turn it so that the sewing is in the middle and i fold it together like so and i sew it up If you're gaining value from this video, don't forget to click that like button. And if you're just joining me for the first time, why not subscribe? Because you're sure to see many more of such fantastic fascinators being made to educate you, to empower you, to create wealth.
Now be attaching all. Also see the sweets I made with the Ankara there by the side. I'm going to be using gum to stick them all. I also made a rose also with the Ankara to sew to this. Remember I have a brooch class to teach you how to make such roses that you can use to attach to your cloth, your fascinators, your hats. So if you want to learn how to make them, do write that down in the comment section below this video. Keep watching and keep learning now the next step is to attach my sweet with uhu gum and then this lovely Ankara satellite fascinator appears to learn all the satellite fascinator designs do check this next video at the corner there until we meet next time is goodbye and god bless